I'm a firm believer that when scandals or situations like this happen, you can get on camera and upload an apology video where you say sorry a million times all day long, but the only way to actually show and prove that you are sorry is through action and change. Hey, what is up you guys? It's Dustin and I'm back with another video. How are you doing, Nick? I am doing great, how are you? I'm good, I'm 36 years old. Yep. Before I get into this video, I wanted to thank you guys for all the sweet comments and kind words that you sent me yesterday. I'm gonna be honest, yesterday was kind of like bittersweet because I was going through my emotions and all of that because I didn't get to call my mom. It's my first birthday where I didn't get to call my mom so I was like yeah. kind of like upset about it and then we have like the anniversary of her death coming up on the 21st so I was kind of like Ooh, I wasn't in a good mood so that's why I didn't post and that's why I haven't posted in a few days but I'm feeling a lot better now but I wanted to come on here and talk about James Charles. We're going to talk about something very serious at the end of this video but before I get into that I wanted to talk about Michaela. Yeah. Now we all know that Michaela is in the UK now. She's over there yes. hanging out with P. Louise. I was gonna say she's tripping with Tot, but it's not yeah. Tot, it's P. Louise. We all knew that she was gonna be coming out with this collab, basically, yeah. when she hinted that she was even going to the UK, right? Mm -hmm. Well, she has done something that kind of reminded me of Jaclyn Hill. Now, I remember back in the day when drama channels were kind of getting their rise when we were coming up, there were also other channels that made compilation videos of YouTubers. They made compilations of Jeffree Star Dragon Brands, they made compilations of Manny and MUA, like mimicking and parroting what everyone was saying to him oh and God, then did that all the fucking time all the time you need to find that clip of him doing it to jeffrey and put it in here because it was so <laughs> fucking bad yeah See Hi guys, what's up? Hi guys. Get a Valium, get an Adderall. Get Adderall, uh-huh. It's a little too streaky for me. Streaky, it's, it's streaky. I'm highlighting my chin right now, like I'm just <laughs> feeling myself. A little bit on the chin. A lot of stuff's hype, right? A lot of it's hype. Flawless. Flawless. Like maybe a hint of rose? Actually, yeah. It's Rose. Did that with Laura? Yes, they still do that. Oh, wow. They still do that. But that was the rise of the Morphe, Morphe, Morphe clip. Morphe, 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 Morphe,
It was nice back then. We're gonna talk about times. that in a minute though. Simpler times, y'all. It was a much funner time. I feel like that's before the drama and commentary community got infiltrated with like people that wanted to destroy us. It was a much funner, lighter time. If Michaela wants to bring that back, I'm all for it. But I think she's trying to duplicate that because that was a very, very popular thing. Yeah. Okay, so I gave you guys a palette cleanser before we get into this. I feel like I should have started this video and said, well, 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 like you yeah. did. Because there's new allegations against James Charles. Mm -hmm. Somebody new is coming forward and this guy is alleging that he was 16 years old when all of this took place with James Charles. Surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise. So there's this guy named Tanner. Yeah. And he posted a TikTok, and I didn't even know about this until yesterday when Ethan went live on H3 and he brought up that James Charles had new allegations. And this was all news to me. And apparently, this has been posted for like six days now. It has like, at the time that I screen recorded this, it had like 11,000 likes, I think. Oh, wow. I can't believe there's not more people talking about this. Well, a lot of people were saying they didn't believe the guy's story because mm -hmm. he was looking all around in it. And apparently, I did see some people talking about this over on Twitter that. This is kind of very similar to the other guy that came out against James Charles in 2020 and showed the messages of James saying the age check. Oh, yeah, so it is. So people are wondering if this guy is just taking those messages from that guy and putting it into his own story yeah. and trying to get a little bit of traction off of that. Because in the images that he showed in his video, it was a very close crop of it. You saw that it was like screenshotted, I think it said like November 2020, whatever. Yeah. And then it would say like new message. So I don't know. I don't know. That's I, what th talking about. I think that at this point, it's happened to James Charles so many times. Yeah. He's opened himself up to this. Yeah. So it's to be expected. I don't know if I believe the guy. I don't know if I disbelieve the guy. I don't know if I believe this story, but I'm not going to say that I don't believe the story. I don't even know where or who to believe anymore because there's so many people that have came out against James Charles and there have been some with merit and there have been some that do not have any merit. Now, there will right? always be allegations against James Charles because there are some legit ones out there and then you're gonna have the people that wanna just like hop on the bandwagon, get some attention online and all that. And it sucks that people fucking do that, mm -hmm. and that they're so fucking twisted to do that because then it does take away from the legitimacy, yes. air quotes, you guys can't see me air quoting over here, the legitimacy <laughs> to the actual victims who are telling their story because people yeah. are like, well, these people are lying about it, so you're probably lying too. Yeah. That's, it's so fucked up how people think that way. It's so stupid. Yeah. So I'm going to put in the TikTok here for you guys to see if you have not seen it already. Keep in mind, these are just allegations. There's not any hard proof or receipts as of right now. Mm -hmm. Of course, this could be a developing story or there could even be more people that come out against James Charles. It seems like every couple months there's always a new person. Watch this and I'll be back with more commentary. How I was one of James Charles victims. No. Story time on how I was one of James Charles victims. No. This happened almost exactly three years ago now. I was 16. Just had turned 16 a few months before. And there's some people are going to be like, why are you making this video right now? I'll tell you right fucking now why. Because I have been seeing some stuff about him, like, unveiling a new palette or something, like, next week. And some people are like, I know he's controversial, but, like, his makeup is just so good. He's a fucking freak. Like, he needs to be locked away. Everything that has ever been said about him online regarding this topic, I 100% believe because I now I have first-hand knowledge. So here we go. November 7th, 2020, 924. Age check. You're thinking, could be harmless. He's just asking for my age. Um, yeah, it wasn't. So this is a really complicated but also uncomplicated situation, which is why I never talked about it because I just didn't have the heart to. But basically, he DM'd me that and I responded and I said, I'm a very mature 16. Now I understand right off the bat, I shouldn't be talking like that. I should not be egging someone on like this or like trying to like entice them. That wasn't my intent, I'm sure, but that's definitely how it came off. And I understand that now. But that being said, no matter what, I was a child and he was like 22. Like, and it was also James Charles. So you're 16 and you're seeing this and it's like insane. I, I didn't know what to do. My brain was so like, it, it was empty. I had no thoughts going through. I had no idea what to do. I already said that, but it's so true. Whatever. I really like, at the end of the day, there's nothing I could have said. He should have just stopped the conversation. He was the adult. 
So we had like maybe five texts back and forth on Instagram. It was age check. I'm a very mature 16. Oh, damn. Don't want to catch a case. And then after that, it was just like kind of stupid. Like that should have been end of conversation. Um, but then he proceeded to add me on Snapchat. So this is 1023. So an hour after this or after I had responded to him and had the conversation. No. Again, you could just be like, oh, he could have added you on Snap before he got your age and thought maybe you were 18, like whatever. No, this was, I'm telling you right now, this was after that. Um, so you can believe that or not. But he then proceeded to snap me and we snapped for a while. Didn't, didn't really talk much, like whatever. Then I get this snap one day. Now, this is November 24th, 2020. Uh, James Charles. I don't know if this was the actual snap. I don't have any screenshots of my snaps, but I opened this snap and I swear to God, it was a full ass pic of like him in a mirror, something, whatever. And I was just like, oh, what the fuck? To which he responded, what, <laughs> what did I send? I said, you just sent a child your ass pic, actually. And then I kid you not, he said, oops, sorry. That was for my kitty girls group chat. Or maybe someone else. I don't know. Sorry. Blocked me immediately. Right then and there. And that's all I have to say on the topic. That's all I need to say. I don't really care if anyone believes me. I was in the situation. I know what happened to me. Um, I know that there's that people might want to try to blame me for saying what I said to him. But like, I was a child. He He had the upper hand. He needed to have not done what he did, and he did it anyway, and he needs to reap the consequences, and yeah, maybe people should stop supporting him or something. I feel like this is the bed that James has made for himself over the years. He He's honestly stepped in it. And this is going to be something that he's never going to be able to get away from. He's tried rebranding, the whole getting away from the sisters and shit. Like, he's tried, but it's not going anywhere. That clip that I took from his live stream where he was he kept saying he was a kid at 17. Yeah. He's never going to be able to live it down even more so now because he's finally admitted publicly that a 17-year-old is a kid. Yeah. It's a minor. Yeah. But in that fucking clip, he said that he, like, elevated since he was 17 and he's changed. There's been so many different outfits, so many different makeup makeup looks this is the one so many different hairstyles <laughs> when has he changed that fucking bird's nest never he not one time it looks like i mean there nest. was that time that he went through that phase where he like got his hair platinum blonde or whatever still bird's nest. it, it still was, was. That time. didn't he like shave his head too or something no, it was a bald cap <laughs> but back to your point, like, I hate to inject Manny into this conversation, but we've been calling him out a lot lately for his affiliation with James Charles and then Manny's affiliation with Spill Sesh. In that face reveal that was posted with Spill Sesh, I still have not watched those face reveal, y'all. You're not missing anything, <laughs> honestly. But it's Manny so said so to bad. her, because she was saying that she was 19 at the time working for TMZ, uh -huh. he said that she was a baby. If she was a baby at 19, what are all these people that keep accusing this of James Charles. Yeah. What are they, Manny? If Spill Sesh was a baby at 19, what are the people that are 16 that are accusing James Charles of sending them nasty, dirty pictures? Like, They're I need victims. somebody to work that out for me. Victims. To the victims. I didn't understand how a situation like this could affect the people involved, but now I do. And for that, to the victims, I am so, so, Sorry. Thank to the know. victims. But you guys are gonna have to let me know what your thoughts are on this down below. Because it's happened so many times now, I don't even know what to believe anymore. If you've made it this far in this video, leave me the rain cloud emoji down below. I hope you all have an amazing day and we will see you all in my next video. Bye guys. <laughs>